Located in the heart of Mulberry, Florida, the Mulberry Public Library is dedicated to serving its community and those who call this lovely city their home. Their spring events are coming up next on Polk Place. Welcome to Polk Place, I'm Tina Mann, and joining me in the studio today are Crystal Heck, the children's librarian with Mulberry Public Library, and also Sophia Simpson, um, who you're the library assistant there. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Mulberry Library has gone through quite the change in the last, you know, few months. I know growing up, I'm a Mulberry, you know, born, raised there. Um, and it was a little musty room, but it's not anymore. Tell us about the new library and some of the stuff they offer. Oh, well, our library has doubled in size, mm -hmm. and we have so much more space, nice open area, beautifully decorated inside. Um, we can't say enough about it. And we're in a really nice location also. Playground outside, pavilions. We have just a really nice area. It's located on the ground floor of the Mulberry Civic Center now. That is awesome. And that mm -hmm. gives, you know, families a whole day. They can come and they can spend time at the library. Mm -hmm. um, I know as part of that, you guys have really started offering quite a bit of programming. Um, I know you guys have redone your website and all of the information that we're about to talk about, they can find dates and times about it because we have so much to talk about that, that they're going to need to go to the website to get all the specifics, which is mulberrylibrary.com. Mm -hmm. .com. Yeah, they can uh, ed, um, ed, uh, access our calendars there and our reservation system there also. Excellent. So let's yeah. talk about some of the programming you guys okay. offer. Yay. Well, um, we have all kinds of stuff from little babies to teens to adults um, that we do. Um, so you want to talk about your baby time first since that's the littlest? Oh wow, we just had baby time this morning. What a fun time we had. Bubbles and play, um, play clothes and uh, songs and puppets. Uh, we just had a great time doing baby time this morning. So that's two years old and younger. So what is that? Baby time is story time. So I read books and sing songs and do puppets and just have way too much fun with <laughs> babies <laughs> too and younger. Yeah. That, so. that sounds exciting. So mm -hmm. once we get to preschool age, what can we expect? Well, preschool's me and I do story time on Wednesdays and that's two to five. And we do songs, we do stories, I do puppets, and we usually get to do a craft afterwards, um, depending on crowd size. That can, be, <laughs> that can be fun with those ages. Yes, <laughs> it is, it's a lot of fun. Okay, and let's talk a little bit about actual spring events. I know you guys have an art show coming up. Yes, um, I have a program that I do with the elementary age kids. It's called Creative Kids Club. We do that on Mondays. So since September, the library year starts in September. Since September, we've been doing art projects bi-weekly. And so I have a ton of artwork that these kids have created that we've worked hard on that we're going to display for the community to come see. There's gonna be an art contest, and these kids are gonna come in and just show off their work that they worked so hard on. And it's always so much fun for them to be mm -hmm. able to, to see their work displayed and to know that people are looking at it. Yes, yes, I want them to feel very proud because they've worked so hard, and I have so many great kids that just uh, love to do the art and are very good at it. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So we also have an evening of poetry. Is that more geared towards adults? Yes, that is a cafe, um, refreshments and beverages provided. Um, <clears throat> an evening with Florida's poet laureate, Peter Mankey, which is very exciting to us because we, we were not sure that he would have the time to visit a little town like Mulberry, but he is coming for a reading, as well as Erica Bernheim, who's Florida Southern's one of Florida Southern's professor, and she is also going to be reading from her works of poetry that she has published as well. And there will also be an open mic extension of the evening where local poets, anyone can come and, and share their poetry with great poets like Erica and Peter. Excellent. So for people who don't know what a poet laureate is, what is that? 
The governor has appointed uh, Peter Mankey to be Florida's Poet Laureate, so it's basically the poet of the state. And he, he has over 20 books of published poetry. Oh, wow. That is, I am, a, I am a humongous fan of this man. He has got everything from witty pieces to children's books to um, darker pieces. It's just very, very, very good. Well, that's quite a coup for Mulberry. That's yeah. awesome that they were able to get him to come. Mm -hmm. um, something I'm kind of interested in to find out more, which is the mother-daughter tea. <laughs> Tell me about that. Mother-daughter tea. Just imagine big hats, gloves, china cups, teapots. Um, tea Largo Beverage Company will be providing the tea for us. Um, and we have Build-A-Bear. Every child will receive a Build-A-Bear. Oh, and gosh. with their ticket, it's $30 for a mother-daughter ticket and then $15 for any additional ticket. It is a fundraiser for the Friends of the Mulberry Library. So it's going to be a wonderful time for the community of Polk County even. And is that a pre-ticketed event? Do they need to get them in a ahead of time? We yes. strongly suggest it. We had a tea in 2012 and it was sold out and we could have probably had two teas um, for the amount of people on the waiting list. So it is a very popular event, yes. And they yeah. can come to the library and pick those up. Okay, is that the best way to, or the only way to get the tickets is pretty much to go to the library? Yes, come okay. to our library, yes. Excellent, that mm -hmm. sounds like a lot of fun. I have a little girl, she's 11, she's almost out of that age where she probably wouldn't, but she's still, she's still mama's girl. So mm -hmm. I think that sounds like a lot of fun. So like a good age to do it. And invite a grandmother, an aunt, make it a family event yeah. for sure. Just, I can see my mom in a big hat. <laughs> <laughs> I think she might kill me if I tried to do that. Um, you also are going to be visited, or now we're talking to, again, older kids, well, older high school kids, um, colleges are going to be visiting the library. Mm -hmm. So you have an opportunity, the high schoolers have an opportunity to come talk with these people, right? Yes. Um, we have six or seven universities and colleges from around the area who a representative will come and make um, contacts within the community and answer questions about their programs and, and just have uh, a conversation with parents and anyone who's interested in attending their programs. It's a, it's a wonderful opportunity for people who want a secondary education to come and um, have a conversation with these representatives. So really, that could be any age. I mean, even oh, yeah. kids who already are interested in a school all the way up into right. adults who are looking at furthering their learning. Definitely. That's a really good opportunity. I know like Florida Polytechnic is go coming, Southeastern, mm -hmm. the community college is around. Mm -hmm. So that'll mm -hmm. be really good. Um, you also have a book sale coming up? Yeah, we have every year we have an annual book sale and that's just, um, books that people have brought in as donations that either we cannot put on our shelves or um, books that we no longer can actually check out. They're not being checked out. So we put them, put them in a big sale and all the you know profits go towards the Friends of the Library and it helps mm -hmm. us out. And um, people always look forward to it. Um, it's gonna be a little bit different this year. It's mm -hmm. not gonna be at the Civic Center, uh, but they can you know visit our website for the address and everything where it's going to be, but um, it's usually a pretty good turnout, big lot. We got lots and lots of books to sell, so. <laughs> Which is always exciting. Yes. So we talked about little kids, and we talked about preschoolers, and you guys also offer an adult book club. Yes, we just started that. Um, we have uh, an employee who is a senior, and she wanted to start a senior citizen book club. So we've been actually um, talking with the Mulberry Community Center, and they have, have a senior center there also. And she's got people coming out from there, and we're offering it also to any adult in the community that would be interested in joining. And we're doing an awesome book called Redeeming Love. It's actually my favorite book ever. <laughs> it's, it's an excellent book. So um, anybody who wants a good love story, you know, yeah. wants to read a good love story, they should check it out. That's by Francine Rivers, who is yes. a great author, one of my favorites. Yes, yes. Best book ever. <laughs> box of tissues, though. You yes, need box one. of tissues. <laughs> yes. It's kind of like Nicholas Sparks. I cannot, <laughs> I get so mad at him when the t first chapter and I'm already crying. I'm like, this is not okay. Um, 
course, April also has National Library Week, mm -hmm. and you guys are going to be doing some activities for that as well? Yes, yes. We have um, a whole bunch of stuff going on, so much so that I had to bring my paper. <laughs> <laughs> um, National Library Week is celebrated throughout the nation, of course, you know, national. And um, we're just going to be doing all kinds of odds and ends to let people um, in on what the library has to offer besides just books. You know, a lot of people don't know that the library has DVDs and audiobooks, and we offer free programming. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, every program we do is absolutely and totally free. Except for the know. tea. Except for the tea, but you know, that's a fundraiser. <laughs> totally different. Okay, so um, we're going to be doing food for fines for that week, and that's just if you want to bring food in um, and you have fines in your account, you know, we'll accept some canned goods for the needy and uh, take some fines off your account. Does that um, work for any of the libraries? Um, that's just us. <laughs> yes, well. <Yeah. laughs> um, you want to read some of them also, Miss Sofa? Sophia. <laughs> so, Sophia. Um, well, if you bring your library card with you to check out, you get entered into a drawing for a gift card that week. Um, you can make your own bookmark and coloring sheet um, contest with prizes and you can follow us on Instagram or Twitter for a small treat. Yeah, we have an uh, Instagram and a Twitter account. And we're asking people to follow us on there because we do, you know, we promote all of our stuff on these accounts and, you know, we need followers right, you know, know what's going on. So if you follow us on any of those, you can come in and, and get a, a free treat. Um, and we're also doing, um, come in, check out five items. Three of those have to be books and you can get a free cup of coffee or a free cup of tea. So those are some of the things we're just doing to promote the library and everything we offer. You should. I mean, you also offer you know computers to people who don't have them and, right. and wireless internet for, and you also offer study rooms, quiet places for people to be. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, you guys have grown so much and mm -hmm. I'm proud of my little town. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, we used to, we didn't even have anywhere you could sit down, <laughs> you know, yeah. and look at a book and now we have like four sofas or something. <laughs> so. That's awesome. Is there anything else you guys wanted to mention? Um, we did want to mention a few things on the calendar um, that are our normal programming, just to let everybody you know know. Um, we we wanted to talk about a program we have called After School Adventures, um, that is every other week, mm -hmm. and we take like a little trip around the world inside of our little library. Um, we've celebrated Chinese New Year. We've um, talked about the real meaning behind St. Patrick's Day. This coming Thursday, we're doing a Holly Fest, which is an Indian festival to welcome spring. And we have all the colored powder and everything we're going to throw on all the kids. <laughs> so um, that's just, you know, a, a program that we offer the, you know, the community. Um, it's called After School Adventures, and it's on e it's every other Thursday. Um, we have baby time, story time. Um, anything you want to talk about? Well, um, Creative Kids Club. Creative Kids Club. That's the thing. That's the program we talked about right. for um, the Creative Kids Club art show that we're doing. That's on every other Mondays. We have Pause to Read, which is a program where therapy dogs come in, mm -hmm. and you know mm -hmm. the kids read to them. If the kids are not comfortable with reading out loud it to really people, it really helps them. Yeah, it really helps them. They just sit down. We have the best little therapy dogs that come in and they sit down and read to them, and it's a world of difference for them. It's amazing how yeah. much those dogs pay attention to you. Oh, yeah. They'll look mm -hmm. right at you and, and watch you. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you guys have some really cool programming. And of course, as we mentioned earlier, they can find out all the inf this information by visiting you guys, of course, but they can also go to the website um, and get all this information and follow you guys on social media. So. Yes, Absolutely. Well, thank you guys for so much for coming out today. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. We had a great time. Yeah. Enjoyed thank it. You. you can come out anytime. All right. Go thank Mulberry. you. Yeah. <laughs> Anthropod. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you check out the Mulberry Public Library. The library offers a wide variety of books, DVDs, audiobooks, CDs, programs for all ages, and a welcoming environment for all visitors. In addition, they also offer public access computers, free wireless internet, and two private study rooms that can be reserved for free. The library is located at 905 Northeast 5th Street in Mulberry. They can be reached at 863-425-3246, or you can visit them on the web at mulberrylibrary.com.